Hello, what you just watched there was a new shot from my Star Wars movie trailer that I'm making, and I think it's pretty cool, so let's break it down. So what I did first was add a new landscape, making it a large terrain and scaling it down on the z-axis. And if you've seen my previous few videos, you'll know that most of them start with this exact same step. Clearly I'm not capable of original thought. I then used the True Terrain add-on to give it some dirt textures. Time for the clones. I will be using this clone 3D model from Sketchfab. Rigging it up in Mixamo, I will grab a couple of running animations and this dying one. I also got the clone blaster from the same guy on Sketchfab, all for free. Throwing them into Blender, I will loop their animation by changing from the timeline to the graph editor, then make the extrapolation mode cyclic. I'll put the blaster in their hands by selecting their armature and going into pose mode, then selecting a single bone near the hand, back to object mode, then select the blaster, then the armature, control P to parent the blaster to the bone. Nice. Now I just gotta duplicate them around. To animate them forward, I'll add an empty and parent all of the armatures to it. I will then use this empty to animate them all forward. The camera movement is really quite simple for this one. I just simply added a new camera and animated it from left to right to keep in line with the clones. Then under the animation tab, I'll add some noise modifiers to the position and rotation to give it some organic movement and variation. Oh, and I've also put in that dying clone animation, but not attaching it to the armature. To make things super cinematic, the scene needs some fog. So I will add this big cube and under the shader tab, give it a principled volume material. I'll give it a low density strength and a little bit of emission strength, but make the emission a blue color. Nice. To then fill out this horizon line, I got this picture of an alien landscape from productioncrate.com and brought it in using the images as planes add-on. I scaled it up and chucked it way out in the back. To make the scene cooler, let's add some embers. To do that, I will add another big cube and make it a particle system. The particles will emit from volume so that they fill inside the cube. Next, I will add an icosphere, giving it an orange emission material. I will then have the particle system render as that icosphere. Also got to disable gravity and velocity, but increase the randomness. Time for the main event, the explosions. I'm going to be using some dirt explosions from Action VFX because they are awesome and I feel like they fit the scene well. I'm simply just using the images as planes add-on to import them into my scene and sliding them where I want. Then to have them start on a certain frame, I will go to the material properties and change their start frame. And obviously we need to add in the lasers hitting the ground. So to do that I will simply create a cylinder and stretch it out. I will give it this orange emission material and then simply animate it to move into the ground when the explosion begins. Then I just gotta keyframe the visibility of the layer to turn off when I need it to. However, it's not enough. I really want the environment to flash when the lasers impact with the ground. So I will add a light to each impact point and keyframe the intensity to flash over a few frames. I will also make it orange. What the scene needs now is a bit of realism. It needs smoke, so I'm going to go through and add some smoke stock footage to the scene. I'll be using this atmospheric smoke add-on for this, but you can really just use any smoke stock footage you have. All you got to do is just bring them in using images as planes. Another bit of realism that I thought would be really cool to add was to have little bits of dirt kicking up when the clones interacted with the ground, but I'm not going to do that because that sounds kind of hard to me, but it is the thought that counts. Um, yeah. And that's, that's about it. Goodbye.